What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you information on the next Destiny DLC, The Joker's Wild. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy those daily Destiny 2 videos, even though I haven't been posting them daily because there's nothing to cover in the game, be sure to subscribe. Now this information has been leaked from a good source who does not want to be exposed. But they are pretty much right every single time. I've covered other leaks from this source as well and then we can see on screen now and they've all turned out to be legit. But hey, until these are actually confirmed by Bungie, still take them with a pinch of salt people as we all know. Okay, so firstly, I will mention that some of these details are already known but I may as well cover them as part of this statement dropped as they were mentioned. Okay, so firstly, according to this source, there will be a new game mode called Mamba, which will be replacing Trolls of the Nine. Like what? This Mamba mode is a competitive Gambit game mode that focuses on endgame and is centered more around PvP than PvE. This source also suggested that they were testing Trolls for the Joker's world, but they ended up scrapping it, which is a shame because I'm pretty sure Trolls is something many people wanted back would probably prefer right now over Gambit in a hole. But hey, that is what it is. But this Mamba game mode sounds quite interesting for sure. But for me, if this is legit, it's a push in the wrong direction. In my opinion, Gambit was fun for about all of 20 minutes. And then it just got seriously repetitive. Even more so repetitive than the rest of the game. I mean, I could be wrong and this game mode could be something revolutionary, but I just don't see that being the case. But hey, I could be wrong. I actually hope I am wrong. We will see. Now we all know the Joker's world is centered around the Drifter, the Drifter being the main man behind Gambit. The Joker's world for a long time, a big part of this was changes to Gambit and a whole new Gambit experience. So is this that a competitive Gambit mode? We will see. Here's me hoping for three man Gambit teams facing off against each other. That sounds cool to me people, but hey, competitive mode I understand takes the interest of many, many folks out there. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for any more details on this competitive Gambit Mamba mode. And let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section, people. Yeah, it could be game changing for sure. Although I ain't really that optimistic. But hey, I hope it happens, people. I hope it happens for Destiny 2's sake. Because it's in a poor state right now. It really is. And it needs something revolutionary to change it. Let's not beat around the bush right here. Okay, so let's move on, people. So within the Joker's world, this source mentions a new dungeon coming, which is supposed to be absolutely massive. Now, please, people, don't get this twisted, my fellow guardians. A dungeon, as far as I can recall, as I haven't played Destiny in quite a while, is not a raid or a raid layer. A dungeon much like the Shattered Throne dungeon, which was actually a great addition to the game, offers a new challenge, uh, new puzzles, and much more. So although it isn't a raid, a new dungeon does sound like a decent substitute, we will see. Now the Shad Throne was a super super challenge when that first come in, and it beholds many many secrets still to this day. So yeah, I like the addition of a new dungeon, but we will see. Now moving on again, and Zer Bounties will finally arrive. Although these are something we've heard about plenty of times now, it seems as though with the Joker's world, Zer will in fact have a meaning now, instead of just being a useless bastard. I mean, I'm just here hoping these bounties don't reward two tokens and a damn blue because you know it's happening, people. These ain't going to give out exotics, that is for sure. Imagine Zer has his own set of gear set around the nine. Sounds pretty cool. So we will see, people. We will see. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping, guys, these bounties just don't offer that standard XP as well as drop just random gear that's already in the game which you can obtain from elsewhere. zer has been a big part of Destiny since early days of Destiny 1. Please give him meaning, Bungie. Please give him meaning. Now, according to this uh, source, we will also be getting new exotic quests too. Now, we all know the Fawn is coming back as we saw Fawns being shot at the end of the trailer, although these may not be from the Fawn. We will see. This source also states that not only will the Fawn be returning, but we will also get a new weapon known throughout the community via lore, etc, etc. And that is the Rose. Now, I won't go into detail about this weapon and its lore, as we all know, basically, the ins and outs of the weapon. If you don't, though, go look up Bife. He will have you covered for sure. But yeah, Simple Man's terms, the Rose and the Fawn are seriously connected. And we all knew it was only a matter of time before we saw the Rose come into the game. And now it seems as though the Rose weapon is coming. And it will come and arrive with the Joker's world. No doubt, people, this will be an exotic... And no doubt the quest behind it will be absolutely crazy. And if Mamba is an actual game mode, it could be tied to that too. So we will see. 
But yet the Fawn and the Rose, according to this source, will be coming with the Jokers wild. And lastly people, this source states of a certain game type making a return from the early days of Destiny and that is Sparrow Racing League. This I am certainly down with, a game mode although limited to a certain degree, it was super fun to play with with your friends and I had a whale of a time doing so, as long as that damn forklift truck doesn't make a return, we are good to go people. But we will see Sparrow Racing League, a new dungeon, a new competitive Gambit game mode, New exotics, no doubt new gear, hopefully decent Zer bounties. The Joker's world is, well, it could be better than what we were expecting. Let's hope that is the case for sure. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. Like I said, none of this has been confirmed by Bungie, so I'll take it with a pinch of salt. But saying that, this source hasn't really been wrong that much in the past. But we will see, people. We will see. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It really does help out. If you're new around here and enjoy Destiny videos, non-daily at the minute, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, people, you can turn notifications on by smashing that bell button. But, guys, Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.